A tide of people took to this road today, fleeing homes where they've lived under siege for nine long months. Some now too weak to walk, all exhausted by their ordeal. Syrian troops sealed off Moadamia, where rebel fighters had taken control, telling them, surrender or starve. Civilians paid the price. Thank God we are out. Look, my body is shaking. There was no food. We had to eat grass. They wouldn't let us leave. These are the last of the civilians who were trapped inside Muadamiya since March. Only a few thousand people were able to escape and nothing was getting in. No medical supplies, not even food. One Syrian said you couldn't even get a piece of bread inside Muadamiya. Less than 10 miles from the capital, children died from starvation. Residents had sent out messages begging the world to help. Aid agencies called for urgent access for months. The government finally agreed. Civilians could leave. Whoever stays, they say, is the enemy. Inside the Al-Muqaddamiyah, there is armed group. They are terrorists. Uh, now we take the civil to the uh, uh, safe places. And uh, then uh, those people uh, are not uh, our uh, responsibility. They are uh, terrorists. This nun played a key part in negotiating this evacuation. Sister Agnes Mariam is known for her very public role in saying President Assad's forces never carried out the chemical weapons attack which took place in this area. Sister Agnes, when you went to the government, did you say they shouldn't lay siege like this, even denying food to go in? Of course. Of course. I mean, uh, on a humanitarian basis, you know, those civilians, uh, they should be spared by both parts. Women, children, the elderly were taken to a shelter. But an activist we spoke to inside Muadamiya told us thousands of civilians are still inside, too frightened to leave. He told us men separated from their families were taken to a detention center. It's hard to yet verify who's still inside Muadamiya and what will become of those who have left. What's clear is the battle here will now intensify. Lise Doucette, BBC News, Muadamiya.